Hey guys, Mr. Fast Java here with my review on Blood Prison, Naruto Shippuden Movie 5. Let's get started. I really, really enjoyed this movie. I've been waiting about a year since it was announced in Japan and it came out in Japan in April. And it was a great movie. You guys should watch it along with I watched the, um, the special of Naruto vs. Kamamaru, the OVA, the 8th OVA. I'll put that in the description below of my review on it. You guys should watch it. It was great. And you can search it up on YouTube or on the internet to find the actual video itself. So, this movie was... Um, let me explain a few things. That every Naruto movie that has ever been released, you always see that Naruto has a special bond with a character that's brand new that they released. Like, I believe and it was Naruto movie 4. Um, Naruto... I believe that's the one he met his father. He went back in time, Minato, when he went on a mission. Uh, and that girl resembles the movie in this girl, which is her name is Ryu Dizona. I can't pronounce her name, so I'm going to call her Ryu. Ryu, which is a woman, or a girl, she was, um, she was in the blood prison, but she was a spy. But I'll let you guys figure that out. Let me just continue my review. It had a lot of blood. Hence, Blood Prison. But it was like, out of all the movies, it, had, it was mo one of the most goriest movies I've ever seen. Like, every time they will fight, you have to see the blood coming out. You'll see them like this, with their hand, and pierce right through your chest. It was like, amazing. I saw them like, whoa, it had action, it had adventure, it had a bunch of blood. Whew, one of the epics movies I've ever seen. One of the, I liked um, how they, what Kishimoto did with the movie. That he was able to divide the skills as if, like, he divided the plot. Which makes you think you're fighting one, that the enemy was Miyu, but it really was his son, Muto. Muko. And Muko was his son, but he was offered to the box, which is a box called the Epic of Bliss. Which was a box that inside of it was full of bad energy and sh stuff like that. So he, you had to have tremendous amount of chakra to open that box. So he sent his son through there and his son got stuck. So then later his son comes out and then he's like all evil and he kills his father. Well, half kills him. And he's on the floor and whatever and then Naruto's fighting. And I love how he went into sage mode. It was amazing. It was epic. He summoned again with Bunta and he jumped on top of him. Like, I remember when he first fought him. And got to be able to summon him. It was amazing. He's like, boss, what can I do? And um, that monster that came out, which I believe his name is Satan, which was a monster that from the time of the Riduku Sage, which was the Sage of Six Pass, the original one. Not Pain, the original Sage of the Six Pass. And during that time, I guess he had power over that box, whatever, but that was used during war. And the Grand Village use that box to control the war the whole world once and it was this movie was pretty epic. So not and one thing they had comedy too. We always see Naruto he's always trying to escape the castle, the blood prison. And it was so funny, like the first time he escaped twice I believe. The first time he the um, assa um some assassin that was under Mew's control comes to take him and the Naruto goes, he leaves Bam, he makes it out the castle. And I forgot to explain these guys to you in the beginning, but Naruto was there because he was framed from a crime that he did not do against the Raikage of the Cloud Village. Um, they wanted to find out about the box, and then he came. And then some ninja used some clone technique to take his form and then, you know, uh, make him guilty of a crime he didn't commit. But Naruto escaping, it was amazing. He left, he got out, he was able to get out. And then he would climb down the bridge from there, and then since the... Um, he had a seal on his stomach, the Taisuru seal, which means that it's like stripes like that. And what it does is that it strips you of your chakra, that you're not able to control chakra. And he, he wasn't able to use chakra in the sense against Muku. Because he has Sage Mode, which takes in natural energy from the environment. And what was really cool was that he planned ahead. Every time he sent him in the box, he would control his chakra and form a clone. From that, he would summon. 
and use that against when he fought Muku. This was amazing. Had I will give this uh, eight out of ten out of this movie. This was amazing. Thank you for the director of this movie. It was amazing. I loved the movie so much. All right, guys, this is the end of my video. Tell me what you like. Your favorite characters was it Mui, Muku, Ryu, Naruto, Tsunami Sakura, anyone? And also, bees in this movie. I would like you guys to comment below what time this took place because Naruto didn't meet B until during the Four Great Ninja War when they sent him to that remote island. But he already knew B in that time, so comment down that below. Alright guys, this is Mr. Fasciavo signing off. Peace.